different opinions. In today's world of cancel culture, let us remember to hear each other out. We all cannot have the same opinion on every matter all the time. So it is pertinent that we are not quick to shut up anyone with a different view. In America, the cancel culture seeks to destroy anyone who does not share the same view on a subject like Black Lives Matter. In the UK, the woke generation try to cancel anyone who believe that women are people who are born female. Even J.K. Rollins was not spared. In Nigeria, in the past election, several attempts was made to punish people who support other candidates. Invariably saying, support who I support or be destroyed. My question is, if we all have the same position on every issue, where is diversity, tolerance, and acceptance? We are better off giving everyone a chance to share their belief and opinion so we can all feel a part of the team. Difference of opinion does not mean it is a foolish opinion. It just means it is different. You know, this thing you did is, 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 um, is touchy. So a lot of things from ranging from matters which we look at exist in the world, transgender, um, inclusion, a lot of things. And, and, you know, the world is built on different opinions. There was a time we thought the world was flat. Yeah, they almost yeah. killed people that said the world was round. Yeah, they, they, they but today, but yes, but today, okay. look at what, look at the situation. They, they believed man could not fly. And who, who, who made man fly? Two brothers that repaired bicycles, not even those who were planning to fly. So the world has always been built on differing opinions. Let's come down to Nigerian politics, which is where we find the most problems. And now, Nigerians think that if, Nigerians, I've never seen anybody in the world Who's drunk more about having a they and us right. situation than, than Nigerians? Nigerians always, no matter how little or no right. matter how big, want to call people they so that they can call some people us. You go down to this on tribal lines, politics. So once you are not on their side, you are they. And once you are they, anything you say will be obliterated. It's nothing you can't have an opinion. It even came up to the time in politics last during this time because of my office. I, I, I was trying to explain, you know, actual why this is this or this is that. Some people and they're like, no, you are you are older than forty. You are like them. You, are, you belong to them. I was like, ah, they belong to me already. Just at forty two. <laughs> you belong me to the senior boys. I'm not yet there. But Don't you know, speak you know, on this matter. But they, they, they seriously told me these are people who have not read the constitution. People who do not know the laws of Nigeria. People who do not understand the electoral act. And you know, you just go about saying funny things. And to them, if you go against them, I remember I was even advising one and cautioning him out of, I, uh, he's someone I know. So I was like, ah, no, don't say this. You are you know, on the presidential council. Don't say this. Or you're a spokesman person. Don't say this. Say this. Because this is against the law. I said, Kule, if you want to be part of a party, be part of a party and know you're against us. Stop advising us wrongly. Okay. So, uh, anything I say that is not what you're saying is not acceptable. Yeah. You want to say something, animal shop? If I could jump in here again, uh, it also comes down to a bit of our culture. Okay, uh, do we have a culture that allows people to ask questions? Do we have a culture that allows people to uh, be deviant? Uh, do we have a culture that allows people to see things differently? Uh, do we? Do we believe that someone else, right, could do something better, could see something better? Uh, for a lot of us, we are coming from a place where maybe we have a Messiah complex, and we think that the one that can help people and we help people, when even the people we prefer to help, might even be the people in the best position to help us. So, I I I, I think. Um, well, if I may come in, you know, uh, in 20, October 2017, I 
was in a conference and I took a course, a Japanese course actually in a conference. It's called Omoyari. That's the name of the course. It's a Japanese word for mutual respect, okay. togetherness, the GCI conference. So, and I, I was taught something, I learned something from that course about um, trying to respect people's opinion, their way of life, their thinking it makes the world a better place. You understand our differences, accept the differences and respect it. A Muslim is different from a Christian. They have different belief, but that should not be the source of problem. Mm -hmm. If you if you also see um, a, a social person from social tribe is different from this because of the way they do their things, but it should not be a source of discord. Rather, it should be a source of uh, strength, bond, and love. Now, if you go to Afghanistan, for instance, in in Iraq, Afghanistan, and some other country. Okay, I think it was Iraq that somebody, a woman, actually went to a store was it iraq yeah iraq if i'm not mistaken she went to purchase something and she didn't wear a hijab and the man there used water and pour on her that was like a problem after that the morality police came and arrest woman no that was iran okay iran uh -huh, iran i knew it happened last week i thought she I watched it on cnn hijab, so this issue a proper one nah, or the proper no she was not actually wearing a hijab the man poured the water on her hair and said she should you know that how can the woman enter the store nowhere this thing. And and the woman was like, <sighs> was she from that country? I don't know whether she was from there or not. <laughs> the issue is that even if she was from that country, you see her choice. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, wait, 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 now you but, see. <laughs> now you see when you border on matters like this, you now first ask what is the situation in the country. So first thing, uh, Iran, Iran has identified itself as an Islamic republic. Good. So if you identify yourself as, a, as an Islamic Republic, even if you're a Christian or a poor and you're in that place, you, you have wear, to cover your head. Yeah, job. You know, it's part of, you know, what she spoke about, the woke generation. You know, there are laws. Before you, you can get the law changed. That's an easier way. But trying to challenge the law and form woke and break parameters doesn't always work most of the time. Well, like I said, people have the difference of opinion, but you have to just respect people and and see their sense in what they're trying to see. I understand why. Try to understand yeah. the empathy. I think people empathy don't actually the listen. Empathy. When somebody has Try a varying opinion, the, all they see is that, oh, he's not agreeing with me. They fail to actually say, is there something in here that I can pick? Um, what they do is they they listen to respond, not to understand. Yeah, okay, And that is, that is what people yeah. are most guilty of. They, they listen to, to they, yeah, they, 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 they are quick to, they want to, fight know, they want to fight you. But they didn't hear what you said at any point in time. No, they don't actually. Just yeah. shut you down. Yeah. Okay. So, um, of course, uh, after the break, Elijah Felix is next and he'll be discussing the impact of bigotry and political manipulations on the Nigerian democratic process.